Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I wanted to talk about a little something that I do regularly that um, often is uh, overlooked or or you just don't know when you're a, a new uh, comer to the shortwave hobby you might not know this trick when you tune around with a radio on shortwave of course you notice that there are different levels of um, stations, you know, some are very weak in the noise, some are uh, stronger and you can hear them, but overall there's something that um, I use, a trick that I use to sometimes detect if something is there when somebody tells me, you know, oh, there's a station on this frequency, can you check? And it's the use of single sideband or upper or lower sideband. I usually, depending on how I tune, I will use upper or lower sideband. If I move up in frequency, upper sideband. If I move down in frequency, I'll use lower sideband. And why do I do that? To simply detect if there's a signal. So one of the things about um, weak signals is that in AM mode, they are extremely difficult to detect. Here on my SDR, usually even though it's weak signal is detectable because it's going to put out a line. And even a very weak signal will put out a small line. But in a portable radio or a desktop receiver that is a regular you know, analog radio that you tune with a, a tuning dial or tuning button, What's going to happen is, and that tuning knob, is that you might actually go over a signal that is weak in the noise without even knowing that it was there. So here's one weak signal. You know, if I click on it here, there's something there, but it's very weak. And if I would be tuning the frequency ranges, um, you know, I could be actually moving through this signal without even knowing that it's there. So what I would do say I want to tune here to see if I can hear it, I would put myself in upper sideband, for example, and once there, I would move up in the frequencies in the uh, tuning. What happens there is that once you get close to a signal, what happens is you hear a tone that will be there. And once I hear that tone, I know that, oh, there's something there. So on an analog or on a portable radio where you don't have the SDR capability of seeing the signal, that is a way of actually knowing that even though you can't really hear it in AM mode, you might detect that there is still something by using upper sideband, lower sideband. It's a trick to find out very weak signals. Technically, lower and upper sideband detect weaker signals than AM mode will uh, in general. The other trick about upper lower sideband is when you're wondering, you know, you might have seen that people are reporting frequencies sometimes like, oh, that station is on 11455.8. And you might be wondering, how do you know it's 0.8? How do you, how can you detect that it's 0.8? Well, once again, you use upper or lower sideband. Once you zero beat, that means once the tone that you're listening to is zero, zero beat, or you just don't hear it anymore, because it changes in frequency as you move forward, at one point, you will notice that it's not there. And not only that it's not there, but if you hear that the voice or the music played sounds okay, you know that the frequency you've tuned is the exact frequency. It happens a lot with pirates, for example, that are off frequency. So you tune an upper or lower sideband, and once you actually can define the voice and that it sounds okay, or the music that it sounds okay, you know you're on the exact frequency on most receivers that are very, you know, most receivers today, PLL-driven receivers, are pretty precise in frequencies in general. So these are little tricks that I use that are very, very helpful in finding out if there's a signal somewhere. And like I said, on an SDR, we have the chance of having that waterfall that shows us really weak signals, you know. 
but on a regular radio using upper or lower sideband while tuning well will make you hear the things that you might have missed by tuning around in AM mode. So this little tr- tip that I uh, have, use regularly when tuning with receivers. If you enjoy my my uh, <laughs> if you enjoy my radio, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.